How's it guys? Tree number three of Lynn Mullins Historic Trees of Zimbabwe, the umbrella thorn of Clyde Road in Eastley Harare. Well, as you can see, this ain't an umbrella thorn. This is actually a fig tree. What's left of the umbrella thorn, Acacia Siberiana, is unfortunately there, but that's all that's left of it now. But uh, it's still a very, very entertaining story. So the story goes from uh, Lynn that in the early 1980s, there was a fuel crisis in Zimbabwe. And there's a fuel station just down there on Clyde Road and the queue used to go a hundred cars long up this road onto Glenara and then all the way down towards Mukavisi Woodlands and then onto the Mutari Road. And what would happen was that every night a hundred cars would park and the fuel safe station attendants would take record the uh, the license plate numbers of each of those 100 cars and so there was no queue jumping no one else could get in the cars would stay there the whole night and uh, then the cars would be served the next morning and they would get so Lynn says in his book they would get 20 liters of fuel if they were lucky at a price of $14 okay those of you that are in Zimbabwe will of course appreciate the rich irony that was 1982 we're now in 2019 and guess what there are fuel queues everywhere fuel now costs three dollars 13 and up uh, a liter so 20 liters is going to cost you 60 bucks or more um, and you are extremely lucky if you only queue for one night to get fuel. Uh, back in those days, Lynn said that they were enterprising university students who used to um, organize to go and look after people's cars overnight. Well, these days we have apps for that, of course. It's, it's the tech age. We still haven't got any fuel, but we got an app to get someone else to queue for us for the no fuel that we don't have. So this tree was particularly remarkable to people in that queue because it was a beautiful big umbrella thorn, flat umbrella thorn that provided shade uh, for people sitting in the queue for the long day. And Lynn tells that uh, many, many, many briars were cooked underneath this tree and beers and cokes were drunk underneath this tree during its time. Sadly, the tree isn't there although it has been replaced by this fig which is presumably bird sown and coming up quite quickly and there is another very small uh, acacia just over there uh, which presumably was seeded from this one so all is not totally lost fuel queues are very much part of 2019 Zimbabwe just as they were in 1982 so guys I hope you've enjoyed the story of this um, little remnant vestigial acacia Siberiana, the uh, umbrella thorn here on Clyde Road in Eastley Harare. I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. I really hope you guys are enjoying this little series on historic trees of Zimbabwe. If you are, you can see plenty more on my YouTube channel, AfricanPlantHunter.com, Facebook, Instagram. Check it out. I'd love to see you again. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye.